this turtle had tumors on the eyes that were occluding its vision and lots of tumors on the underside. So it's time to have the tumors cut off. An endangered green sea turtle goes under the knife at the Palm Beach Zoo, or in this case, a laser to remove numerous fibropapilloma tumors growing on the turtle's skin. Taking the tumors off gives the turtle a chance to have its body bulk up and get back to a, a healthy shape. Kiwi is among more than 100 sea turtles that came to Gumbo Limbo's new rehab center with fibropapilloma, a disease likely caused by a virus. So far, 45 turtles have undergone the surgery thanks to a partnership between the zoo, Gumbo Limbo, and the National Save the Sea Turtle Foundation, which recently donated the new laser. And the laser is precise enough to operate on the, around the eyes of the turtle, but also strong enough to operate on, say, uh, an elephant or a tiger. While it's still unclear what causes the tumors, most of the infected turtles come from polluted waters. In the Indian River Lagoon, 70% of the green turtles there have this disease. And in our own Lake Worth Lagoon, 60% of the green turtles have this disease. But if you go to the ocean, uh, you're less than 4%. Gumbo Limbo Nature Center is one of only four sea turtle rehab facilities in Florida that treats turtles with fibropapilloma. And since it opened last January, the center has been full. It's concerning that it's getting, it's more prevalent. Mm -hmm. It's not only in green sea turtles, it's now in every species except the leatherback. So that's, that's pretty scary. After the surgery, the sea turtles will be taken back to Gumbo Limbo Nature Center in Boca Raton to recuperate for two to three months. When they're healed, they'll be taken back up north or to Florida's west coast and be released.